Do you want to know an easy way to put on a pair of grips? In today's episode, BMX for Beginners, we're going to do a how to install grips with simply four zip ties. So we're going to install these grips and just like all these, the other videos, we want you to like this video, uh, turn on your notification bells and comment in this video and you could win some free stuff from our bike shop as well with the free bike. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit more about that later on in this video, but we're also going to tell you um, how to put these grips on, what's the simple tools that you need, and where you can buy grips and stuff like that. So um, yeah, let's get to it. So I, I see a lot of customers coming into our store and they always kind of balk about installing grips and stuff like that, and I can understand. Um, you're, you're spending, you know, I mean, 10, 15 bucks on a pair of grips and to pay somebody, you know, I mean, five to ten dollars to install grips, it seems kind of absurd. But in all reality, uh, just like working on your car, the oil may cost 20 or 30 bucks, but it costs 20 or 30 bucks to actually put the oil into your car. So a lot of the, the labor rates and stuff like that is, uh, is where most of the, the businesses get their money from. And that's because it's a lot more expensive to hire somebody there to work on your bike. So in your case, you're, you're kind of a, a do-it-yourselfer. So we're here to help you do it yourself and kind of understand and see why it takes, you know I mean, a little bit of cash to get somebody to install your grips. Part of it's gonna be time, part of it's gonna be knowledge. Um, so with four simple uh, zip ties, we're gonna show you how to install these grips. And with that said, uh, there's other ways to put on grips and stuff like that, but we figured uh, you might not have some WD-40, you may not have a spray paint, you may not have an air compressor, uh, but you may have something similar to zip ties or maybe even spokes or uh, electrical wire or something like that you could substitute uh, for these zip ties. So that's kind of where we wanted to start off with because this seems the most simplest way to do something and you could possibly find a pair of zip ties um, in your garage and maybe one of your kitchen drawers or something like this. So we thought, it, we thought it'd be the best way to start off with. Uh, we'll, we'll also tell you um, how to install them the other ways in some other videos later later in the future. But I thought this was really relevant. I thought this would help you out. So I'm going to start with this. So starting off with uh, three zip ties, notice that I have uh, three large ones and one small one. It doesn't really matter if you have uh, large ones or small ones. The uh, Four small ones will work fine. Four big ones will work fine. Uh, even if you have three of them, it'll work you know, I mean, the same way, but it's gonna be a little bit tougher. And there's a couple reasons why, um, and I'll kind of tell you about it. So uh, right now we have uh, these pair of grips right here, and they're just your standard grip. They have a 7 8 uh, inner hole, and the handlebar is 7 8 thick. So these slide on there, but these are rubber, and this is metal or painted on it. So it makes it pretty difficult just to slide it on. Uh, we see a lot of people, they, they even, um, I think they can just muscle the grip on there. And the problem with that is that it squishes up the grip. Uh, it just causes kind of pain and they look kind of funny just doing it. Uh, trying to use their brute force to do it. Um, it's always better to think smarter, not harder. But uh, these are basic grips. Uh, they're just like every other grip that's on the market. They have a 7 8 uh, hole right here. So uh, yeah, we'll just explain to you. So the main reason why these grips uh, are really hard to put on. If you try to slide them on like this, they stick to that because that's what they're designed to do. Uh, the hole is actually a little bit smaller than 7 8 and that's because they wanted to have a nice snug fit. So uh, these are not gonna go on very, very easy. And what's, what's gonna happen is that they're gonna stretch and they're gonna actually slide over the bar. So I find that the zip ties work the best uh, because they're very thin and they don't stretch out the grip very much uh, and they don't cause a lot of friction and stuff like that and create a lot of problems. So uh, what you're going to want to do is you're wanna, you want to get uh, four zip ties like so and the idea behind it is that you want to have the, the head on the end that you're on the end of your handlebar. So the one with the side with the head you want it sticking out. But also too is you don't want this end piece sticking way past the grip. So like let's say uh, this grip is here. When you're installing these grips, 
you don't want this thing sticking way over here so you're not going to want to stick this all the way in here and have it sticking out because then you're going to have to slide this out farther so and that causes a lot more work and stuff like that so the whole idea is you want to slide it in just about there uh, it doesn't really matter that you, you slide doesn't go in all the way or anything like that i think that's kind of better uh, it just kind of helps it but um, the whole goal is to to get all four of these zip ties i'm gonna put two of these down um, you're gonna want to get all four of these zip ties and you're gonna want to position them uh, on the grips or in, in between the grips and the handlebar and you want two on top and then you're gonna want two on the side like that so the whole idea is that the grip is lifted off of the, the actual handlebar and you're actually uh, holding the grip and you're actually sliding it along so when you slide it on you're gonna want to grab it from where the actual zip ties are uh, you're not gonna want to grab it in between because what that's gonna do is it's gonna make the rubber touch the edge of it and then actually uh, actually stick to it so that's a big no-no um, another thing is is that I've noticed a lot of a lot of riders they um, they just assume that the, just buying a brand new pair of grips um, is gonna make their actual uh, grips not, never slip or anything like that um, which in fact is not, it's not true um, what what happens is is that when you have an older set of pair of grips uh, the, the bicycle hits the ground and dirt gets shoved in between here and here and what it does eventually is that it works its way here all the way down and then whatever uh, gunk or anything like that that you have inside of there will kind of mesh together with that dirt like almost like mud and it'll create mud to kind of get in between and that that mud is a little bit of the rubber compound that's wearing away because now you got like dirt in there almost sand and then now it's like a like a sandpaper so you're just grinding this the way and actually making that hole bigger so that's kind of why the grips don't ever stick uh, if you got a you know I an mean, old set of handlebars that you are I mean actually old set of grips and you take them off you may see a, a bunch of gunk that's uh, inside of the handlebar basically stuck to the handlebar so before we we install any grips uh, usually I, I take a Windex like this and I just uh, just clean it off it's got ammonia in there so it gets rid of a lot of dirt and grime this handlebar is really really clean uh, so I know that it's not like a bike that's been ridden at the trails and stuff like that and those bars end up usually having a lot more gunk so what we suggest is uh, lacquer thinner um, this stuff will eat your paint on your bars but uh, the whole idea is not to let it sit there for a long time if you pour this on your handlebar it'll actually eat the paint um, so what you want to do is you want to dab some on there and then just give it like one swipe maybe two once you go three three to four swipes it starts taking off the paint so um, basically it's just it's kind of like a paint thinner but uh, it's just a lot more high powered and it gets a lot of that junk off really really fast and then you might want to also hit it with the Windex um, just to clean it up and stuff like that afterward but main idea is to make sure this handlebar is really really clean Make sure you're not dipping it in the water and there's not water uh, still seeping in here or stuck in here. Make sure that it's all dried out. If you're using an old pair of grips and you're trying to make your grips not slip again, um, I would say the best way to do it is again, uh, use Windex, spray it inside, maybe run a rag through it a few times, uh, dry it all out, make sure it's really, really dry. Um, I understand patience is really tough if you wanna get off there and ride, but if you try to slide these on while they're wet, uh, it definitely won't won't stick. Um, I've also seen a lot of people try to spit in here. Uh, you know, I mean, use hairspray and stuff like that. And the hairspray kind of works, but it takes a long time for it to dry up. Spit doesn't really work. It just ends up uh, taking all the food from your mouth, the tacos and stuff like that, and it gets it in between your grip, and then it still ends up having throttle grips. So don't waste your grips um, by just spitting in it. But um, yeah, so once you have those clean, what you're going to kind of do is you, you want to slide these in here. And um, it doesn't really make a difference which way this head is, is flipped. Uh, usually I tend to just stick them all in there and just make sure they're all in there. And uh, like I said, um, I always try to have it, um, how do you say, uh, stick out just a little bit because then it gives me a little bit of 
room to play with. But before I actually stick it on the bar, see how I'm, I'm uh, spreading them apart and just making them kind of all be, be separate. So that's the whole idea. And once you got them on like that, um, make sure that you put the heads on the side that you want on the end. So like if this is a rib pattern, which you're gonna put on this side, you're gonna want the opposite end with the little heads on there. So that's what I did, I stuck them on one side. And then what you're gonna do is, you don't have to fight it, you don't have to force it, just simply push it on and push it on from the back over here. And you can see how it's starting to be a little bit more difficult. Once you start gripping it like this, you're actually pushing it against the handlebar and it's sticking onto the handlebar. So, um, like I said, I want you to try to grab where the zip ties are. And you can tell where they are because they kind of stick up a little bit more than everywhere else. So if you see on this handlebar, it kind of looks like a square now. So you can grab on those squares and you can twist it a little bit. But you want to pull towards on this end because it's going to kind of stretch the grip and you're not going to really want to pull here because it's going to end up squishing the grip together. So once you get it in there, uh, what I want you to do is uh, leave a little bit of room on the end of the grip. The reason why we leave a little bit of end on the uh, grip is because one, this bar end kind of goes over the cap, and two, once you start pulling on these zip ties to remove them, what happens is that uh, it actually pulls the grip a little bit this way. So this side will lock, and then these will kind of pull this way and it'll kind of stretch out your grip. So uh, this one here, we're gonna, we're gonna go a little bit more since we have an actual bar end piece on there. So um, we, you can use your hands. Um, it's a little bit more difficult with your hands, but uh, I like to use vice grips just because they're a little bit easier. Uh, you could use pliers or anything like that. But all you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna clamp over that head and just clamp down like this. And if, like I said, you wanna kinda hold, hold this grip but not put pressure on here, and you're just gonna simply pull, out, pull on it, and then it pulls it out. See how it pulled this side a little bit more? That's because it's, this zip tie is sticking to the actual grip, and it's, um, you know what I mean, pulling the grip with it. So, um, now let's do the bottom one. I'm gonna leave the littlest one on the end first, or last, I'm sorry, leave it last, because it's thinner and it's smaller, so it's gonna have less friction. So it's gonna be easier to pull out. So, hold the grip a little bit. Grip a little bit. I'll see that it's like this. So I'll pull it with my hand, and boom. Now it's done. You can kind of wiggle it a little bit if you want to get it get it lined up. Uh, try not to do that too much because uh, the main thing that causes these grips to actually slip and stuff like that is usually having uh, like water or some kind of dirt or anything like that. And the more you're touching it, you actually have grease on your hands. Uh, you don't see it and you don't notice it, but that's where fingerprint comes from. That's actual grease from your body that's, that's leaving it on there. So if you're over here playing with it, you're actually putting grease on the end of the handlebar and you're actually causing these grips to fail and slip right here at the end. You know, and I understand, you know, I mean, you guys don't always know that, but that's really what's going on. And then your grip ends up getting loose from here and then it slowly goes this way. So it just allows more, more um, dirt and stuff like that to go in. So, um, I don't know if this will bar on a bit actually. Let me see. This bar is pretty thick. I don't know if this bar is going to fit in there. So, oh yeah, there it goes. It's super tight. We're gonna take a little mallet. And, uh... okay. This bike's a little bit older. It's a uh, bar and or bar handlebar wall thickness is pretty thick so it's pretty hard to get that far end in there so just tighten this up now notice how there's a little bit of gap uh, 
with that gap you can start from the end and then kind of slide it over it's kind of a similar process of you know I mean the Neanderthal pulling on the grip to get it on but the whole idea is that you're not having to slide it all the way on there so yeah that's got it on there so if I wasn't doing this little video or anything like that and explaining it to all, all you guys you can see how fast I put these grips on and the cool thing about it is that they're ready to ride you can go out there do bar spans you could do hang fives uh, pretty much anything you want to do right away without having any problems so I'll do this other side and uh, yeah, just let you watch to see how, uh, how fast I do it. So. See, like if you have a lever on like it does on this side, all you're going to do is lift it up right here so that it, it misses the lever. And these things will slide out the same way. It doesn't matter if you have a brake lever or not. So. Pull that one out. This one, this one, and then this one. So this lever is kind of jamming it up, so I'm going to scoot this lever down a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of do the same thing. Kind of walk it. But yeah. Pretty pretty simple. Backing that all the way up. over a little bit yep and that's it so very very simple so that's how to put on some BMX grips so very very cool now you're ready to ride you're all set and yeah they're not sliding or anything and they look dope so uh, pretty cool um, that's how you do it if you have any other questions or anything like that leave some comments below let us know um, like I said, I'm going to tell you how to do some other how to install grips a couple different other ways. Uh, maybe I'll do an air compressor and WD-40, maybe spray paint. And uh, yeah, I mean, just tell you, give you a couple different options. I understand everybody doesn't have zip ties, everybody doesn't have spray paint, everybody doesn't have WD-40, everybody doesn't have an air compressor with the air nozzle. So I'm trying to do a couple little things and explain one really, really uh, defined. So uh, if you could help me out with some comments that maybe I left, uh, left out or anything like that, I could uh, text them in, in below. But um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Uh, we told you guys that we're gonna tell you how to win a bunch of free stuff from our bike shop. So the same rules apply as this, uh, to this video as it does to our other videos. So at 2,500 subscribers, we're gonna give away a free uh, parts package from all the brands that we carry here. So that includes a pair of tires, a pair of grips, a pair of pedals, and a seat. Uh, so at 2,500 subscribers, we're gonna send you guys a parts package. And to enter that contest, all you got to do is uh, like this video, turn on your notification bells, uh, subscribe to our channel and then comment below let us know what you like about this video what you don't like about this video 
uh, what other tech tips and stuff like that that you want to see in the future. So let us know any other how to's or any other, you know, I mean, things that it could help, uh, you, know, I mean, BM, you know, I mean, BMX beginners with, um, with just working on their bike. Um, this is our first uh, episode with this how to. So I have tons more of other tricks and tips and stuff like that I can teach you. So leave us a comment below, let us know what you guys want to see, and that will enter you into that contest. Um, at 5,000 subscribers, we're giving away a free bicycle. So um, at 5,000 subscribers, uh, you can win a bicycle. And the same, same rules apply, do the same thing, comment below. And then in any other future contest too, this video will be included in there. So uh, maybe follow, watch those videos in the future, read those rules once we pass 5,000 subscribers and uh, enter it here again too. So if this video, uh, which is probably gonna still be live, uh, that still qualifies you to uh, enter any of the future contests that we're doing as well. Um, but uh, yeah, we also told you where you guys can buy some of these grips. Uh, you can buy any of these grips from our website at stackbmx.com. Uh, any of these grips fit any of the bikes on our website, fit any of the handlebars, and fit about 99.9% .9 of the bicycles out there in the market. Uh, excuse, excludes a few of them that are really small half inch handlebars like kids bikes or maybe uh, some other one inch uh, motorcycle handlebars and stuff like that or a weird bike or a weird Frankenstein builder that created some bike with oversized handlebars or something like that. But I have even put BMX grips on throttle tubes on motorcycles. So, you know, I mean, they're just rubber, they can stretch out. Uh, so they definitely will fit. I get a lot of customers just real quick uh, that they, uh, they're worried about the length. Uh, these are made out of rubber. It doesn't matter how long they are. The reason why they have these little uh, ribs on here is so that you can take a razor blade and cut them shorter. So if you want to have a grip that's a little bit shorter, any of these are totally fine. If you have a grip shift or something like that, you might even want to just buy uh, one pair of grips and that could last you four different sessions because you could actually cut it from the center, have one for, um, you know, I mean, one, one's handlebar and one for the other side. And, you know, I mean, Definitely uh, last you, you know, I mean, last you a very long time. Works exactly the same as if they sold you the small grip right here. So uh, yeah, just to let you know that. But uh, yeah, check out our website if you want to see other videos or other how tos and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not too sure if we're gonna put them on our website yet. Uh, most likely we will. But um, yeah, check out our website. We have other videos about those products on those actual pages. So check out those videos if you want to know stuff about tires, sprockets, frames, other stuff like that. We give you a lot of other details and we explain and review the actual product and we tell you little things about it. So uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys checking out this video. Thanks for watching our first uh, video on uh, how-tos. And yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for commenting. We appreciate you guys and we'll see you tomorrow.